Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome to the channel. And today's recipe, I am going to be making a delicious grouper fish um, in a tomato and basil and white wine sauce. This recipe was inspired because of my backyard. I have tomatoes, cherry tomatoes and ba sweet basils out of my garden and a bunch of other delicious herbs out of my garden. So before we get started, you wanna go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I, I upload tongue twister so you can be part of this family. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so we can go over all the ingredients that we need to make this recipe. So to make this, you are going to be needing some basil. Like I said, this came out of my garden, nice and beautiful. And I have half an onion cut up. I have about one tablespoon of chopped garlic and I have a little bit of thyme right out of my garden as well. Look how beautiful, okay? And these cherry tomatoes are out of my garden as well. That's why I like to brag about my little garden. And you are going to be needing one lemon and I have about um, two tablespoons of my Haitian spice. Guys, this is really easy to make. Check the card that just came up so you can see how to make this. You, if you don't have all the stuff, you can literally um, blend garlic, um, green onions, and some salt and pepper, and some parsley to make this, okay? And you are going to be needing about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of each of these powders, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, red pepper flakes, and paprika. And I have some thyme leaves as well, even though I plan on using the fresh one. And I have a packet of Sazon seasoning. This is what she's looking like. And we are going to be using a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil and I am using this red wine. My rule for wine is if it's good to drink, it should be good enough to cook with. And you are going to be needing a little bit of sour orange juice. If you don't have this, you can use the juice of the lemon instead, but I will be using both. And you will need some salt and pepper to taste, of course. And this is the fish. I already went ahead and cleaned it. Right here, I cleaned it with some lime and rinsed it under some very cold water, okay? Please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video for you guys. So let's get cooking, guys. Okay, so to get started, as I mentioned before, the fish is already clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in, I think I'll use two um, teaspoon of these spices. So between one and a half to two teaspoon, I say it depends on how much fish you have. Of course, you can always double up the recipe. And I'm going to be using maybe just one teaspoon of paprika and then just a little bit of the dry thyme. And of course, my green seasoning, my Haitian a piece. And I like to use about two teaspoon of that sour orange. Okay, I love that taste of that sour orange. And I decided to add a little bit of um, lime juice in it as well. And a little bit of black pepper. Maybe a teaspoon. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well. Okay, grouper is uh, ocean fish. But if you don't have grouper, you can definitely use any filet fish that you have to make this recipe. Because I know sometimes it can be hard to find depending on where you live. This one actually came from the Bahamas. All right, so make sure you season it properly before we cook it. And they fillet the head, part of the head which is right here, it still have some good meat. Okay, make sure you rub all the seasoning in there. And now you wanna take that packet of Sazon. I love the flavor of the Sazon and also the color it gives the meat. All right. 
And I am going to chop that basil, that sweet basil off camera because I know you guys know how to chop um, basil. So I'm going to chop it off camera just so we can kind of speed up the video a little more. All right, so I'm going to let this marinate for a good 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes, and then we can start cooking our delicious sauce for our fish. All right, guys, I have my stove set to medium high. I have like a grill pan here that I'll be using. You wanna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to your pan just to cover the bottom of the pan, nothing too crazy, okay? I want to try to get a nice little sear on my fish before I add it to my sauce that we're going to be making. Make sure the bottom of the pan is very well covered or coated. And now it should be hot enough, but I'm going to just test. Well, it's okay. It should, um, it should have been a little hotter, but it's all right. I'm only going to allow it to, to sear for uh, maybe three to five minutes on each side. I love when I drop my meat and I hear that nice sear noise, but this one is not really giving it to me, but it's okay, it's coming slowly but surely. If you haven't, please go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also Facebook. You can find me on Pinterest as well. All the links will be down in the description box for you guys to check out. And I do have another um, channel which I speak Haitian Creole in. So if you haven't, go ahead and follow me in that channel as well. All links will be down in the description box. Again, we are going to sear this for about three to five minutes on each side. So once this side is done, flip it over for another three to five minutes. Then we can proceed on to making our sauce. Okay, guys, my fish is all seared. I have the stove still set to medium high and I grab another saucepan. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and put in the onions. Look like my pan got a little too hot on me. Okay, nothing too crazy. You can always turn it down if needed. It is popping like crazy. And I'm going to go ahead and put in that garlic as well. Just keep stirring them, cook them for a few minutes. I feel like each time I put the pot on the stove to grab something, it just gets super hot. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of that pepper, that pepper flake, just to kind of cook it up with the onion as well. Oh, that heat. Just like that. And now go ahead and drop the tomatoes in. This makes me want to cough so bad. But I'm trying so hard to hold that cough. Just like that, stir everything in. And just give it a few minutes to cook so the tomatoes can be nice and soft. I absolutely love cooking with cherry tomatoes and I like when I pick the green ones, even though they're not ripe, and I like the orange one, I just love the beautiful colors that it gives my food, especially this dish. I made this recipe the other day, but I used um, walleye, which is a common fish here in the Midwest. But you guys wanted the recipe, so I decided to make it with the grouper but I will be making it again with walleye once I get my hands on some fresh walleye. And now you want to go ahead and put that thyme. I don't want to put that basil yet. Not yet. Let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, now you want to go ahead and drop 
two tablespoons of butter and mix it well. Oh, it's smelling so good already, guys. Now this is when I like to add the basil. I did went ahead and chop the basil, as you can see. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did chop the tomatoes as well. I cut them into halves. Oh, looks so good. Let me know, do you guys garden? Let me know if you guys garden. If you do, let me know what you garden. And if you have harvest anything out of your garden yet. Let's talk guys, let me know. And now time to deglaze our pan. I have one cup of that white wine. Again, I'm using that Stella Rose. My thing is, if it's good enough to drink, as I mentioned before, it should be good enough to cook. I'm not going to go to the store and buy some other wine when I already have wine right here in my house. Okay. Oh, if you don't want to use wine, you can use chicken stock instead. Totally up to you, but I like this wine because it's nice and sweet. That's why I love to use it. Taste. Add a little bit of black pepper. And we are going to add some salt. Make sure that sauce is delicious. I'm going to be eating this on top of some either quinoa or white rice. I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet. Mm. So much flavor. And don't forget that lemon I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in there I'm actually going to use my hand just make sure you try to catch the seeds even one already escaped but I'm going to get it out so don't worry just like that here's the little guy that escaped Oh, it's trying to fight me, y'all. There you go. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of lime zest to this as well. I had two limes, so I have a whole one or lemon zest. Not too much. Just to have that extra lemony taste and smell and I'm going to allow this to simmer for a few minutes before I add the fish into this sauce okay this is what the fish is looking like now it's time to bring them back into that pot so they can finish cooking This is so easy, but it is so good, guys. If you feed anybody this, they're going to think you've been in that kitchen for hours and hours cooking. Just try to make room for the fish. I like to put down the ones that did not get to sear much because of the bones, how it was placed. I like to put them down first and then the flat ones right on top. I know this is a lot of fish, but I have a lot of people eating this today. So I'm trying to make sure everybody love it. I feel like when I make recipes like this, everybody love it and then there's not enough for everybody. All right, that gravy from the fish, make sure you put that in there over it. Oh, this is so good. If you need to add a little bit more wine instead of that one cup that I add, you can go ahead and do so. Maybe add a cup and a half if you're looking for more gravy. But I turned my um, stove down to about a medium low and let this simmer for a good 15 minutes. All right, guys, the recipe is pretty much done. As you can see, it's looking so good. 
You can jazz it up and put some fresh chopped parsley on top, or you can cut up some red or green bell pepper to put on top or some um, onions if you wish. But I have a little bit of rice here. I have some extra yellow rice. Um, that was just leftover rice that I had. Even though I'm still making some white rice, I'm going to cut up a piece of that fish. You can see, just so I can taste it with you guys. But first I wanna taste that gravy a little bit. Oh, it is so good. Wine is so good to cook with, guys. If you have wine at your house, if you don't wanna waste it, definitely add it to some of your favorite recipes and you will definitely be thanking me later. And no, you will not get drunk if you cook with wine because you will cook all the alcohol out of that wine okay so i'm gonna turn the camera around so we can taste this delicious recipe together all right guys it's time to taste our delicious hard work i'm going to take a piece of that fish with some rice again you can make your plate nice and pretty by adding some um fresh parsley and you guys know i always take good pictures for you guys so um, watch till the end so you can get you guys can see the pictures mm. So good Honestly, it's really no different than making you know, like a stew fish Haitian way But this is a great way to use um, Other spices or herbs that you're not used to use in your kitchen and like I say, I have all these in my garden. I have to find a way to use them. So this is a delicious way to use them. So good. So flavorful. So I hope you guys try this recipe. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel again. Comment, like, and share. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.